Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. With Mother's Days and many more celebrations coming up this summer, desserts don't have to be complicated to be scrumptious. There's one that I like making because it's very versatile. The taste of this sweet dessert can be changed depending on what's available, your preference or your mood. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my lemon cello creme brulee. This recipe is so easy and very elegant. Today, I'm making it with my homemade lemon cello, which is an Italian liqueur. As I said, you can always change the flavor of this lovely dessert. So my friends, let's get cooking. In a medium saucepan, over medium heat, we'll add heavy cream, a vanilla bean, scraping the seeds out and adding the pot as well, some lemon zest, and fleur de sel, which is a fine, delicate sea salt. So we'll use just a small pinch. We'll stir well and bring the mixture to the point just before it starts simmering. When it gets there, we'll turn off the heat and leave it on the burner for five minutes. While the cream mixture is steeping, in a mixing bowl, we'll add egg yolks and sugar. We'll whisk the ingredients until very well combined. Next, we'll temper the eggs, but before we do that, here's a trick when you need both hands. Roll up a kitchen towel into a donut shape and simply place the bowl on top. That way, the bowl won't slide everywhere when you're whisking with one hand and slowly pouring hot liquid in with the other. Before we do the next step, we'll remove the vanilla pod and discard it. As you know, when we incorporate hot liquid into raw eggs, we always go slowly, whisking constantly, giving time for the egg's temperature to go up. If you go too fast, you might end up with scrambled eggs. A few ladles later, we can safely pour in the rest of the cream mixture. And then, we'll pour in the star ingredient, the limoncello liqueur. Next, we'll pass the mixture through a fine sieve sitting over a large measuring cup so it can catch the lemon zest and potentially cooked egg pieces. And of course, we'll discard it. We'll pour the custard into ramekins. Now, as you can see, they are placed in a baking sheet lined with a silicone mat. If you don't have a mat, use a clean kitchen towel because either one will prevent the ramekins from sliding and you'll see why in a minute. When it's done, we'll carefully transfer them in a 325 degree preheated oven. But before we close the door, we'll pour hot water in a baking sheet enough so it reaches about two-thirds of the ramekins. Be careful to not pour water in a custard. Then we'll bake them for 30 to 35 minutes or if you are using taller ramekins, 35 to 40 minutes. When time is up, we'll carefully remove them from the heat and transfer the ramekins to a wire rack to cool off. To know when they're cooked perfectly is when you shake the ramekin and it jiggles a little, then your creme brulee will set beautifully when it chills. When they get to room temperature, We'll transfer them to a baking sheet lined with a silicone mat and transfer to the fridge for at least two hours and up to three days. When it's time to serve, we'll place a ramekin on an upside down bowl and sprinkle about a tablespoon of sugar on top. We'll give a few quick shakes so the sugar covers the surface before using a blow torch. If you don't have one, Place them under the boiler and we'll heat the sugar until it melts and caramelizes nicely. After it cools for a couple minutes, it should sound like this. Mmm, yummy! And my friends, this is our lemoncello creme brulee. 
smooth and creamy, with a crispy crunch, this elegant dessert is sure to wow your guests. It's a great recipe, and the beauty of it is you can make it ahead of time. If you like to change the flavor, try using a different liqueur. I hope you give it a try soon, and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time, my friends. Bon appétit.